Let's consider a switching circuit with a particular focus on how to draw the diagram of a given switching circuit. And to start with, we'll look at a case where there's just two switches, P and Q, and whether or not current flows through the whole circuit depends on the way in which these switches are connected, as well as when they're open and closed. So for instance, if a circuit is connected in parallel, then current will flow through the circuit if P is closed, or Q is closed, or if they're both closed. And that's often expressed as P or Q. And the way we draw a diagram for a switching circuit connected in parallel, it's written as P plus Q. And the way we draw it is like this, with P and Q, the two switches branching off from a line like this. The other way a circuit can be connected is in series. And in that case, it is said P and Q, written as P times Q. And the way in which we draw a diagram for a circuit connected in series is like this. And in that case, current will flow through the circuit only if both switches P and Q are closed at a given time. So let's have a look at a couple of examples of drawing more complicated switching circuits. The first one here is written in the form PQ plus Q bar R, where note that Q bar is the negation of Q or not Q, so that is a switch that is open when Q is closed and closed when Q is open. But anyway, to draw a diagram of this switching circuit, we can go through step by step. The first bit here says PQ, and you'll then notice that's plus Q bar R. So the block of switches PQ will be connected in parallel due to the plus with the block of switches Q bar R. Whereas in turn PQ, because that's multiplied there, that's connected in series so that those will be drawn like this. And similarly Q bar R is also clearly connected in series so that the whole circuit would be drawn in this manner. So let's try one more, which is a bit more complicated. And in this one, P plus Q bar, and then we have R plus S brackets P bar plus Q. So again, let's look at this step by step. So the P plus Q bar part, that is then connected in series with this next bit, R plus S P bar plus Q. So therefore, let's look at each of these blocks in turn. So P plus Q bar, means P is connected there in parallel with Q bar, which means it will look like that. But then that's clearly an AND there, so that's then connected in series, hence I'll draw this horizontal line here, that's connected in series with all of this part. Now looking within this bit, we have R, so I'll put that up there let's say, and then plus, so R is connected in parallel with all of this, R plus S, and in there we've got S and P bar plus Q. So S is connected in series with P bar plus Q, and that plus means in turn P bar and Q are connected in parallel. So that our circuit is actually then going to have this general appearance. So looking through that again, P plus Q bar, there they are in parallel, connected in series with this whole block, where within that block you've got P bar plus Q in parallel, connected in series with S, and all that's in parallel with R. So that's an a couple of examples of how we can draw switching circuits.